Carro. Hello, my Capricorn friends. It's Guiding Halo. Let's do your financial reading. What's affecting your financial life? This could be your reading. It may not. Take it as it resonates. For February 28th and March 7th, and I'll pull outcome cards for the end of March. Let's find out what's going on for you guys, my Capricorn friends. Ace of Cups, falling in love, or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition. A new home. Someone could be moving. Someone could also be having a uh, family member that isn't able to take care of circumstance or situation. Challenging information. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options. There are creative solutions that can be found. All right. Intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless. Could be dealing with a Libra. What's this Ace of Cups about, please? This is what the Divine wants you to know. Is going on right now you might not feel that way but that's what's going on center of the issue Ooh, a wish granted very nice we have ten of cups nine plus one is ten rewarding family life enjoying this is happy husband happy wife happy family happy life there's a wish granted coming in someone could also have a new relationship coming but you're concerned about someone's toxicity with drinking or self-indulgence queen of wands aries leo sagittarius energy new home new job new life new youth. there's something something here you may want to create it's going to take massive confidence to do so and will be a wish granted in fact it could change your life but it seems you need to put an ending to something else in order for it to bring resolution or fulfillment the devil, toxically a tide. See what I was talking about too. Libations, drink, uh, anything that has some sort of toxicity. It could be dealing with addiction, drinking addiction, anything that fills the emotions, addictive forms of filling your emotions or feeding your emotions even. Self-sabotaging energy. There's been some lying or deceit behind the back behind someone's back and they very well may choose to get out while the getting's good in fact they may be looking for a new home it seems looking for a brand new beginning there's definitely some lying about addictions here why do i say that amongst such beautiful cards because we have the seven of swords which is either self-sabotage we have the devil which is around the nine of cups which signifies like drinking addiction we have this new start, having the power to, to opt out and have a beautiful new beginning. Someone's thinking about getting out while the getting's good and creating a new. And you very well may think about creating a new and putting an end to something else. Because someone else, someone might be putting an end to something in your world. And it may bring about a new start for you. Perhaps you didn't feel like you could go, go it alone in some sort of way. But because they're having an ending or you're having an ending, it brings about a new start for them. For all of you, really, you may decide to go it together. What is this Ten of Swords about? Putting an end to the mental bullshit. King of Cups. Getting a solid grounding in your emotions. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. So this should be in Pisces season, finding a balance in your emotion. Finding someone's not telling you how they feel. They're not telling you everything, and you know it. You know there's more going on here. The truth needs to be spoken. It'll be a challenging beginning, absolutely, but it will also be a victory. Changes to plans. Truth delivered without tact creates an ending it could put someone up in their emotions that's for sure but it's all around the ace of cups which is a new beginning a new start in love
someone has told you, I'm going to say someone's told you a truth and you know the truth of a situation. There could be someone sitting there who's not seeing the truth of a situation. You may be toxically tied to keeping someone else's wish quiet while well, the other person figures things out. And I think you're going to make a judgment call based on your own truth. going to take great strength to deal with it events that occur with great speed and you know that speaking someone else's truth or your own truth is going to cause that waterfall cascade effect indecision not know what to do about the circumstance or situation but you know that something's calling you to speak the truth and have a new beginning with this definitely could be dealing with a leo we have fire sign all over this this is Leo, this is Leo, that's Aries Leo Sag. Someone may be helping someone else out of a circumstance or a situation they otherwise wouldn't be able to get out of. There's indecision. It's going to take great strength to deal with it. It's divinely guided on many accounts that you do. However, it's still going to be challenging information for someone. Regardless, someone always gets hurt, right? Too many. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you could be dealing with another earth sign, such as yourself. Unable or unwilling to make a decision based on your financial stability enough to move ahead with it. Or how to create that financial stability with what you want to do next. Stress-related health concerns. Too much to carry. It's almost like it's just you can't take it anymore. If you're going to be end up speaking a truth or telling a truth or having a challenging beginning based on lies and fuckery you see going on, pardon the language, I'm telling you, it's a heavy burden to carry. Ask your friends for help. What's crossing this whole situation is deciding whether to communicate that or not, whatever it is, communication coming in. I think there's more you know, and if you told someone you know something would be done, over, finished, kaput, but you don't want to feel responsible for it in some sort of aspect. What's this about? Yeah, er, er, Libra energy again. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You may have a lot of air signs around you. Someone's making a head over heart decision or maybe a heart over head decision. Either way, they know it's going to hurt people and it could very well put an end to a family legacy. This is a gift of money coming in, though, possibly from a lawyer or from something ending. Someone making a decision or... Yeah. Something like that. What's going to happen by the end of March with this circumstance? Where will you be at? Looking at where you want to invest your money. It's like... Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. We have a match here between masculine and feminine belief or understanding about what we should do about it. We have using your intuition. There could be somebody of great spiritual prowess that may be putting a wrench into things or dealing with something. This came out in Libra's reading as well. I think. Aquarius Libra. An air sign anyway. All up in your head about a circumstance or situation getting important psychic insights we have a couple involved here that's trying to find stability in their emotions their passions are incredibly different though what they're passionate about one's passionate about money one's passionate about their emotions coming to fruition one's passionate about seeing the truth and what's going on behind the circumstance So we have two couples. I'm going to say two couples. Some that are all up in their fields and others that are working on their money and finances. I'm not sure what to do. I can tell you right now there's a contract involved. Whether it's spiritually, family, money, job, whatever. Someone's waiting for a contract. It could be the signing of a contract that brings in a lot of funds. Angelic advice, please, from my Capricorn friends. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. So, a new venture, a new contract. Yes, it's time. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now, my Capricorn friends. Take care of your health. Have faith 
and courage. Have faith and hope because there's something positive in you on the horizon that you can't see yet. So you can't see the hope and the positivity out of this, but it is all coming. And it very well could be you're out of a situation. Someone else's leaving something could be you're out and into something new for you. I love you guys. I hope this resonates. I'll talk to you again soon.